hi everyone today we are going to discuss about the s4 hana with material management overview okay mazal pani dopadal today we are going to discuss the demo of sap mm with s4 hana okay so today's agenda is to discuss about the overview of sap s4 hana and overview of enterprise structure and also overview of material management also discuss about the procurement processes and finally we are going to discuss questions and answers now we are going to discuss about the what is sap sap stands for system applications and product in data processing it is a german company okay that was founded in 1972 with headquarters in Waldorf, Germany and also it is a fourth largest software company in the world and also it is a largest top ERP solution company and also having 4 million customers they are going to use SAP and also it's cover 180 countries across the globe. Now we are going to discuss about the history of SAP. Okay. The founded in 1972 in headquarters Germany. Initially, they focused on the developing common business applications. Okay. For real time data processing. And in 1972 to 1979, they are introducing first product of SAP R by 1 for financial accounting systems. And in 1979 to 1992, okay, they are going to expansion into multiple business processes, including material management and also production planning. And 1992 to 2016, they shifted to client server architecture and facilitating greater flexibility and integration, and also global expansions and widespread adaptation across the industry and in 2004 my sap was developed okay it is into transition to my sap emphasizing and integrated suit for business applications and also focus on the e business and internet capabilities and in 2006-2015 introduce SAP ARP and ongoing innovation and also incorporation of SAP S4 HANA okay, in memory database capabilities and in 2015 to present S4 HANA platform okay, it is the latest generation of ERP and it's a real time analytics and simplified business processes embracement of modern user interface with fury designs now we are going to discuss about the real time three type architectures okay what do you mean by r r relate real time three mean three relate three type architecture so the first layer is presentation layer and second one is application layer and third is database layer. Now we are going to discuss about the landscape of SAP. Okay, first landscape is development server and quality system server and production server. In development systems, golden client and testing client. Okay, golden in the golden client, we are going to configure configure the business requirement configure the requirement as per the business. Okay, and testing client, we are going to do the testing before going to start the golden client. Then once we done the configuration in the development systems that configuration 
is transferred to development to quality with the help of a basis team. Okay. Then once we move from development to quality in the quality systems, we are going to do the quality testing as per the business requirement. Once the quality is quality, we are going to test based on the different scenarios. Once the quality inspection quality testing is done, we are going to move the transport request from quality systems to production systems. Then business users they are going to use the change requests. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about the enterprise structures. So here it is the first part of the implementation in SAP. Esprohana or ECC. Okay. First, we are going to define company is nothing but the client. In that client, have a different company codes. We are going to define. Then, once we define the company code, we are going to define the plan for different company codes. In that plan, have again different store location. Again, in that different store location is okay the purchasing organization it is linked to the company code as well as land then go for reference purchasing organization means this purchasing organization linked to the standard purchasing organization and purchasing group Okay, purchasing group here, there is no, it is a part of enterprise structure, but it is not linked to any of the enterprise elements. Okay, it is a buyer group. Then go for overview of SAP MM. What do we mean by material management? Material management deals with the managing of materials, okay, resources of an organization with the Aim of increasing productivity, reducing, reducing costs, and increasing the optimization, and at the same time be flexible to accommodate changes. And material management, it is a part of logistic area and also helps to manage production activities or production product, procurement activities of an organization from procurement processes, inventory management, invoice verification, and material planning. And this material management is a backbone of logistic area, which includes the module like sales and distribution, production planning, plant maintenance, okay. Then warehouse management, FI, which is highly Dependent on the material management models. And material management is highly integrated with other modules like FI, financial accounting, sales and distribution, production planning, quality management, and plant maintenance. Now we are going to discuss about the procurement process flow. Okay. So once we get get the requirement, we make the source determination in the source determination we are going to select the vendor based on the price quality delivery once we select the vendor then we raise the po okay once we raise the po we follow up the po then we issue the goods from the vendor once we issue the goods from the vendor we create a logistic inverse verification with respect to purchase orders then we make the payment to the vendor with respect to purchase orders okay this is we call it as a procurement process of p2p cycle procurement to okay now we are going to discuss about the these are the major elements of procurement process one is for determination of requirement source determination vendor selection purchase order processing purchase order follow up 
goods receipt invoice receipt payment process okay now in the sap espohana we are going to discuss about the master data what are the master data available in sap five master, six master data available in sap one is for vital master second one is for vendor master third one is for source list fourth one is for purchasing info record fifth one is for quota arrangement okay sixth one is for service master now we are going to discuss about the purchasing data of sap okay internal purchasing documents and external purchasing document in internal purchasing document is a purchase requisition and external purchase document is a purchase order request for quotation okay contract schedule agreement okay these are the external procurement then now we are going to discuss about the overview of purchase orders also two types of purchase orders standard purchase orders framework purchase orders subcontracting purchase orders third party process purchase orders consignment purchase orders and stock transport or purchase orders okay so these many purchase orders we are going to discuss in detail in the next sessions then now we are going to discuss about the inventory management in the inventory management what do you mean by inventory management managing the stock of the material okay we call it as a inventory management in the inventory management again three types one is for goods receipt okay in the goods receipt we are going to create how many ways to create a goods receipt one is for goods receipt with reference to purchase order and against the production order okay against the legacy stocks and now we are going to discuss about the goods issue okay goods issue with respect to production order with respect to cost center goods issue with respect to sales order now we are going to discuss about the transfer posting okay transfer posting we are going to transfer plant to plant transfer store location to store location transfer material to material transfer then finally we are going to discuss about the inverse verification what do you mean by inverse verification invoicing is a document sent by the supplier to the buyer for the payment okay these are the types of invoices available in esfahana invoice entry means normal invoice and working the invoice and blocking the invoice subsequent debit and subsequent credit these are the invoicing in detail we are going to discuss in the next sessions okay any questions thank you